Van Buren and Lace win it for Gloucestershire. It was an even day at the Bristol County Ground on day three. The Northamptonshire bowlers did well to keep their hosts quiet, but Gloucestershire returned the favour. Their visitors reduced to 92 for seven at the end of the day, but they were still on top, 228 ahead and with three wickets remaining. Taylor and Kerrigan were only able to add five runs before their partnership was broken. Taylor out, LBW to Higgins for eight. Sanderson then went in the next over, out for one, slashing at a wide delivery from Price. Down to their final wicket, Kerrigan opened up and fired some vital boundaries off Higgins and Price, the lead surging past 250. He'd eventually fall for 27 off 32, an enterprise in innings brought to an end by Higgins. He was bowled for the all-rounders fifth, Northamptonshire all out for 129, Gloucestershire set a gettable 266 to win. The door was well and truly left the jar for the hosts. Plenty of time to get the runs they needed for victory, helped massively by that 5 for 46 by Ryan Higgins. But if they had hopes of picking up the win, they'd need to improve on their first inning showing. Charlesworth and Hammond got off to a solid start, but couldn't get further than 23 together. Proctor kept up his wicket-taking touch, off stump cartwheeling, a poor leave from Charlesworth. Bracey helped steady the ship before lunch, the score of the break, 33 for 1, 233 more needed for the win. The Gloucestershire keeper was the first to go after lunch, caught behind off Taylor for 4. Hammond and Dent though ensured they wouldn't be another quick wicket, and they began to put on a defiant partnership ticked the deficit down all the way to below 200 and brought the opener a 50, scored of 137 balls. Northamptonshire kept out and Gloucestershire now with more than a chance of forcing the win. The visitors hit back with a score of superstitious 111, the captain a prize scalp and out to Kerrigan for 26 after putting on 71 alongside Hammond. But Northamptonshire would have been a little worried heading into the break, Hammond looked well set on 78 and the hosts required just a further 143 from the final session, an eminently achievable target. Hammond kept going after the break, an opportunity for a ton in his quest to help his side win the game, and that result was looking increasingly likely too. The fourth wicket stand up to 50, and the required runs now down into double figures. Hammond though, couldn't pick up his 100, bowled by Taylor for 94. It clearly meant a lot to the bowler, with a vociferous defiant celebration. It wouldn't be the comeback Northamptonshire were hoping for. Lace and Van Buren found some more joy and took their total past 200, the target coming into focus. Lace had a 50 for his efforts, scored off 75 balls, and it was now looking like the hosts were cruising towards the win. Van Buren followed his partner, 50 for the number six sealed with a massive shot over the ropes, just 17 needed now. And Lace won it for his side, Keogh's delivery wayward and put away for four. The hosts had triumphed by six wickets in an enthralling contest in Bristol. In the end, Northamptonshire just hadn't put enough on the board when it came time to have their second go with the bat, and their wicket-taking touch evaded them. Gloucestershire's top order had fired, and some, 350s the backbone of their victory. They have a tough test next week, Essex their opponents in Chelmsford. Meanwhile, Northamptonshire returned to the county ground to face a Surrey side who have yet to taste divisional stage action.